guys make Arbor Dog great again. Vote for me for the Streamy Awards 2017. Vote for me. Make me internet famous, guys. Come on, we can do this. Vote for me or I'll kill you. Hey, what is up, guys? Just quickly before the video starts, make sure to, that you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you get a notification every time I upload and you can always be there in time. Alright, so what is up, guys? Arbor Dog here at today. Well, I'm back for another video. So, a lot of you guys were asking me, oh, me, I, like in the comment section, you guys were asking me how to start a YouTube channel. And, well, I mean, I don't think I'm the best person to ask this because I'm not that good. But, I mean, I do I do have like 10k, almost 11k subscribers. So, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get, you know, started. Now, this tutorial won't show you how to get subscribers, but it more like it will show you how to get started and at least half get noticed on YouTube. So, yeah this will just show you how to start off your youtube channel so first and probably one of the most important things is having an original name for your channel don't use numbers like um i don't know arbiter three thousand nine hundred ninety nine five nine six nine eight nine like that's just a really really long name and really nobody wants to remember that nobody and i mean nobody wants to remember a name that's that long nobody that's gonna remember a name that's long that's incredibly incredibly long so try not using numbers at all like it just uh, it's just not good the next thing is don't use names don't use like don't add at the end of like your name like words like gaming or plays or like i'm uh, minecraft or like not minecraft but i mean it's like or the game of name afterwards like i don't know steffy plays or Steffi gaming or Steffi minecraft you know those kind of things just <laughs> as bad as it sounds it's not a good name it's not original and really most of the people are, are gonna be like oh look it's another cliche youtube channel and they're not gonna want to watch it because really those names are not good names to pick they really aren't so you should definitely avoid it um and i'm and i'm sure that there's a lot of um pages out there that can help you pick a youtube name but do not ever use any of those things for YouTube today because they're really not good. Um, so yeah, the next thing is having good banner profile pictures. So as a rule of thumb, never, and I mean never, 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 and when I'm really trying to emphasize it, never, use another person's banner or profile picture. The reason behind that is because not only are you stealing their stuff, their art, etc., but you're also being completely on or original here and now i'm not saying that youtube is a place for a lot of originality because it really isn't like a lot of people are really unoriginal and somehow still make it on youtube but you don't want to be like them you really don't so what you want to do is make sure to have your own original branding for your channel which means like so a profile picture for people in which people can identify you with so they when they see this profile picture they're like oh yeah this is it's that youtuber you know so i mean yeah, you gotta get yourself some original logo and banner for your channel. One that you can actually be proud of. Now, there's a lot of tutorials out there that can help you get, do get yourself an, a banner for free. Um, with free editing, free softwares, which is great because you really do need to have at least, like, um, you don't have to use a, you don't have to have Photoshop to do this. You can do just paint.net. I actually used it for a while in my channel. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of tutorials out there that can help you have an original banner, etc. Now, the next thing, the next thing is having a good microphone. Now, you don't have to have a super expensive microphone like mine. Well, actually, mine is not even that expensive. Um, an expect super expensive $500 microphone, um, because really, it's. I mean, at a point, it doesn't get completely. It doesn't. People. A lot of people really do not tend to notice it. But um, for a person who's starting their YouTube channel, especially if you have like no support from anyone else, a headset that you have or something like that can really help you start. I mean, um, I started with a headset. No, not really. <laughs> I actually started uh, by typing everything. And you don't want to do that, okay? You do not want to type out what you're saying. It's really annoying for the person doing it's really it's gonna be really annoying for you typing everything you have to say down. Then it's gonna be annoying for the viewers having to read that second of all. And third of all, it just makes the video that you're doing really boring. So you want to make sure that you have a microphone to be able to do this. 
Um, personally, my microphone was $150 plus pop filter, which I think it was like $170 actually. Um, I'm, I'm, I like it. I don't. It's actually not that good because, well, actually, it's okay. It's good. The microphone is good, but what I mean, it's not good because it doesn't have like the little um, filter thing. So like, so like to make to be able to change out this audio, etc., etc., technical stuff that you don't need to know. Um, but yeah, just a microphone, a headset could work just fine. Just make sure not to stick it in your mouth or like have it really close to your mouth or your ears because nobody wants to hear you like, <laughs> okay, um, guys. So make sure to keep distance from your microphone or your headset, whatever. Well, not headset, but like the microphone on the headset when you're recording because really nobody wants to hear you breathing into a mic. Like, <laughs> because then it, it'll sound like there's a whole <laughs> entire storm going out of your nose. So yeah, you do, you want to avoid that at all costs. Now, the next thing is going to be a editing software and recorder. So for editing software, um, it's gonna, it's probably gonna have to cost a little bit, or you can just crack it. Now, the rule of thumb is if you're gonna crack something, make sure to pay for it afterwards. Like, um, at least when I started, it, I started YouTube. I, I'm not gonna lie, I cracked my editing software, aka Camtasia Studio Nine, well eight actually. But, uh, but you, you can crack it, but as long as you make sure to pay the money for the software in the future, it's fine. Like, yeah, just make sure to pay for it like I do. Um, you can use software such as Sony Vegas, iMovie, um, Premiere Pro, Camtasia Studios is actually a really good one. It's really simple to use and it's really good. Um, don't use Movie Maker, please do not use Movie Maker. It's really bad and to and to set the quality of your videos, it's gonna be like <laughs> it's gonna be like probably like the size of your videos is gonna be really badly done. So don't use Movie Maker. Please avoid using Movie Maker. You can even use the YouTube editor software, like the one that's integrated YouTube Studio thing, whatever. You can use that and it's just fine, okay? But don't use <laughs> Movie Maker for the love of God, do not use Movie Maker. It's not good and it's it can be really, really bad to use, and it really limits you. So, try using um, more professional editing softwares. Now, the next thing is going to be thumbnails. Now, you don't have to have really good-looking thumbnails to attract attention. In fact, a lot of famous YouTube videos have really bad thumbnails, yet they are still successful. But you definitely gotta make sure to make them look good. You don't want to just uh, put a thumbnail of I don't know your gameplay in a random frame. Because, you know, it's not good. Like, people are really not going to want to watch it. It doesn't make them feel attracted to it. And people are just going to be like, eh, whatever. Discard, I'm just going to watch another video. So, you really got to make sure that you... That you actually make a good thumbnail. And again, you can use free programs such as Paint.net to make some really good thumbnails. Like, I've seen people make really great thumbnails out of really cheap uh, or even free... Um, free software so yeah you don't have to have Photoshop to be able to do amazing thumbnails heck I have Photoshop now I make that good thumbnails um, so yeah just make sure to have an okay software to, to be able to do your thumbnails in and make sure to not make text overly large <laughs> over it or um, yeah just you know just make clean good thumbnails and it'll, I can assure you, it'll at least attract like 10% more people to your YouTube channel. Now, the next thing is the game that you're going to play. So if you're going to be a gaming channel, then um, you got to make sure that you do not play games that are oversaturated. Now, I, I'm playing, a, in fact, uh, let me use my channel as an example. I play, I have, I make videos over sa oversaturated content, such as Minecraft. Minecraft isn't probably the most oversaturated. Uh, game to play in. Now what I mean by oversaturated is that it's a game that it's that it's not even original at this point to record it. Like there's so many other there's probably like another, about another <laughs> 20 million people who made a Minecraft Let's Play on the platform on YouTube that I, I get to the point where it's not original like you, your video is gonna be like a, another video in between like another 10 quadrillion YouTube videos like you really want to avoid playing games like Minecraft of course you can still do it I mean I did it although it was like when Minecraft started to shine like I was actually started my YouTube channel at the right time when Minecraft was like <laughs> blowing up which was great because I got a chance to be in a part of this early but don't do it don't do it like you should you should try you playing games that you see that are starting to become famous 
or that you know they're gonna have success. Like people who did until Let's Plays blew up because hey, that game when it got super famous, uh, people were looking for that content specifically. So you gotta make sure to you to play games that are people actually want to watch, you know, and that they you know that they want to enjoy the content in. The next thing is commenting. So commenting. It's an essential thing, unless you're doing montages or playthrough or speedruns or tutorials, commenting, gaming commenting is essential, and I mean essential, period. That's probably the most important thing you ever have to do for your channel. You, I mean, commenting is not going to come quick, like it really isn't. Commenting is that kind of thing that you're either good at when you start, or you're not good at. You, there's no in-between. If you're not a good commentator, it's gonna suck for you at the start because you're not gonna know what to say. Especially whenever you have little subscribers, you don't, you don't know who you're talking to because you don't have a defined fan base. You don't you don't you don't know who you're talking to, so it's awkward. Um, and you're not gonna know what to say in front of them because you still don't have an established um, you know channel yet. But you gotta make sure to not over talk. What I mean by not over talking is that you just don't shut up because your viewers do not want to watch someone who's just like and like doesn't stop talking for like even 10 minutes because it's annoying. It really gets annoying and I can't stand watching people who over talk too much or are way too over hyped like hey top of the morning to your laddies my name is Jack Septicai and like well actually Jack Septicai is like high school but um you know that are way too over hyped like way 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 too over hyped and all they are is hype you also don't want to fake like your emotions whenever you're recording because if you're not enjoying the gameplay and you're faking to enjoy it believe me or n believe it or not people are gonna <laughs> notice that you're not enjoying it like you're trying to hype it up but but you're not enjoying it don't don't even don't even bother making the video at that point like there's been a lot of times where I try recording myself whenever I'm not feeling like recording but I feel forced to which is why I stopped doing daily uploads because honestly it, I get to a point where I'm like nah, I don't want to keep trying this much anymore like no 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 I just upload whenever I feel like uploading and only upload things that I actually want to upload like if I don't want to upload something screw it I'm not gonna upload I'm not gonna have people pressure me into uploading something that I, I do not like to play so yeah, it, um, and for commenting, also too, just another advice for commenting, um, make sure to also not keep too quiet, especially for Minecraft with Let's Players, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people who are watching this are going to want to make Minecraft Let's Plays. Don't do Minecraft Survival Let's Plays, like, don't do this, okay? Don't don't be like, when you're playing a Minecraft Let's Play, be like, okay guys, um, so, today I'm going to be um, playing Minecraft Factions uh, Let's Play number... One quadrillion five hundred and million thousand eight hundred ninety nine. Um, so today we're gonna chop down some wood. Okay, we got some wood. Cool. So you don't want to do that. Okay, you don't want to. You don't want to sound like not hype, which is kind of contradicting what my other one says. But you just don't. You want to have like. I just gonna sound a little bit. Um. Self-centered, but you want to have a voice like me. I don't sound too overhyped and like that the world is perfect, but I don't sound too depressing either. Like, uh, I don't want to record a video, you know. And you also don't want to leave huge chunks of your video without anything in it, at least anything interesting happening, where you're just quiet, where you're just not saying anything at all, where you're just like an awkward silence, pretty much. So you definitely do not want to do that because your viewers are gonna be like, "Oh my god, this guy is boring. Why did I ever subscribe?" You know. So you make. Well, I'm definitely make sure to do this. Now, this is an advice. I mean, this is something that I rec that I um, that's not necessarily true, because I've seen a lot of people do manage to get big on YouTube through this. E even when they ha whenever they're um, okay. So let me just say this. So um, you don't want to start a YouTube channel where you're really young. You really don't. I'm not telling you not to. You you can you can go ahead and do it. You can live your dream. But really, like this is coming from um, someone who watches YouTube regularly. Like people do really like people really do not want to watch someone younger or someone or someone almost your same age play games. They really don't because they're like, well, this you know like if someone doesn't want to watch someone younger than them play. Like usually when people are watching YouTube videos, they want to watch someone who can they look up to. And if you're like eight years old, nobody's gonna want to watch your content. Like this, I feel bad for saying this last one, but it's true. Like people want to watch someone who can they look up to. 
or at least enjoy watching and most of the time it's they're looking for someone with a more adult figure I'm not saying you shouldn't do content because I've seen like, I've seen people like Ethan Gamer called the Ninja 50 get big oh especially specifically Ethan Gamer get super big for doing gameplays and that's cool because you know they're they're the few YouTubers who managed to get big at a really young age but definitely make sure to oh whoops I hit my microphone um definitely make sure to have a older age because the older you get believe me the more the more people are going to want to watch you and this is by experience like um when i started youtube i was 11 actually and wow actually did i start youtube when i was 11 i was 2013 yeah that, that was about when i was 11 years old i started youtube when i was about 11 years old and back then i <laughs> i did not have a fan base i had 10 subscribers that i got because i start i commented on someone i commented on stampy cats <laughs> um uh stampy cats Come description asking people to subscribe to me, but that's the only reason why they ever subscribed to me. And I, I did not get even a slightly a little bit of fame until I turned like 14. Like, that's when my channel just poof, skyrocketed. And that's gonna be true. Like, the older you get, the, um, the more you're gonna, you know, the more attention and more people are gonna want to watch you because then that someone you're starting to look some look up because you're starting to turn someone who people can look up to so definitely make sure to to you can start youtube at a young age and progress with it because it's also going to be really cool for your viewers to be able to say oh look at this and this guy started youtube when i was really young and sounded like a squeaker and then turned into into this really cool looking person so or this really mature person etc this great person so it's definitely something that um it will take time Believe me, I've been in YouTube for three years now, and YouTube is something that really takes time. It's something that, to become famous, not only does it require luck, believe me, it requires luck. I've made some great videos, I'm like, oh man, it's gonna be successful, and then it only gets like 100 views, and I'm like, boy. Um, and then the, like, the worst edis videos I could ever have made got super successful because they were so stupid. So, YouTube does require luck, but it also requires you to, to have some talent at it. People will recognize your talent. Believe me, they will. They will see something special in you and they're going to want to subscribe. So yeah, these were all my personal tips on how to become a, um, how to start out a YouTube channel. Um, hopefully it really worked out for you guys because, um, you know, this is in part for me, this was some of the things that I required to start out my YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoy this. Make sure to comment down below what you thought of this video. And um, yeah, make sure to also follow me on all my social medias. They're going to be all down in the description, by the way. And yeah, I'll see you later. Peace.